Hi everyone, my name is Crystal. I am back from the video. Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing great. Today's video, we will be doing a full face of Thai beauty brands. I just came back from Bangkok, Thailand earlier this week and I'm very excited to play with all the Thai beauty brands over here. We have everything from foundation, um, foundation, <laughs> brows, um, blush and little eye and cheek quad over here we have everything so i don't think i'll be able to apply everything to my face today but i'll just show you guys with what i can and also i am going out for dinner in a little bit so i'm just trying to speed through this a little bit so i'm sorry if i'm talking a little bit faster than usual currently i don't have anything on my face aside from sunscreen the beauty of the sun sunscreen no white cast no nothing so all natural shall we start with brows first i have the Kathy doll get set go brow gel and i I have the 2P original Oh My Brow Slim Eyebrow over here. This is in Ash Brown. I should have unboxed most of this before I started my video, but oh well. So yes, we have the 2P original Oh My Brow and the Get Set Go Brow Cara from Kathy Brow and 2P original. This is a very, very fine brow pencil. Okay, oh it draws really nicely and very thin. Wow, do you see that? Ooh. Okay, okay, let's let's get into it. Okay, this is a rather clean looking brow. Let's just brush it up. It's not too waxy at the same time, the product doesn't really like bunch up in my brows. I think this is a rather okay match with my current hair color this is my natural hair color this is dyed hair so i think it's okay a lot of the makeup that i have bought it's a mix from watson's and eve and boy so eve and boy is like the thai local think about it as like a sephora where they carry international brands like mac bobby brown and also their own thai beauty brands i went to two eve and boys i went to the one at Terminal 21 and also at Siam Square 1. The Siam Square 1 is huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, this brow is looking a little bit rough, but it is what it is. Alright, so let's go in next with the brow cara. And it has a little tilted wand like this. I like this uh, shape. It's much easier to maneuver as well. Looks a little bit green though. I'm not too sure how I feel about that. Guys, I don't think I like this. Sienna. I don't like this color. This color looks really uh, green in real life right now. Like a poopy, you know when you have diarrhea, poopy green kind of thing. Let me just swatch it at the back of my hand right now. You see? You see that kind of color? I think this color would be good for people with khaki uh, green hair. Let me just get a makeup remover first. Hold on. <laughs> I feel like the brow gel did add a little bit more colour but unfortunately it was not the right colour so yeah I still need a brow gel so I'll go with my usual brow gel which is the transparent one the Han All Brow Fixer brow gel over here there wasn't any eye primer available so I'll just go with my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion Alright, so for us, I actually have four palettes. I thought I only have two, but it's actually four. I have one from Melinda called the Glitter Shot Eyeshadow. Looks like this, giving me a 3CE of Hamish Glitter Eye Palettes, a lot of quads. Dust of Snow by another brand called For You Too. This is how it looks like. This is more of like a glitter palette or a shimmer topper palette. And then I got this quad from Cute Press, two quads. I think it was like a buy one, get one, and one piece was like 200 bucks. So one piece of this was like 100 baht ish so it's like four to six singapore dollars crazy affordable so as you can see they have one called cutie coral and sparkly pink so this is how they look like oh wait this this actually reminds me of the multi cube from iron doesn't it oh it does huh and they're the same size they are the same size. Okay, the component here is a little bit different than the back of it. I get, actually, no. Are they the same? They are the same. It's just that the packaging is a little bit different. Like opaqueness and plastic one, I have you. <gasps> I'm just saying. This is sparkly pink. So this is your pinky shade. And then we have a blush at the bottom. Okay, so it also has that plastic thing as well. Okay. Cute, cute, cute palette. I mean, the general idea of it is really close to the multi-cute from Aimee. So I'm just like... Is this legal? I'm not really sure. Next one we have is Cutie Coral. Ooh, um, I'm not too sure how I feel about this. 
and this is the blush. This is how it looks like. What do you guys think? Do you like this one more or do you like the, the pink one more? Personally, I think I like the pink one more. Looks more, uh, what's the word? Cohesive? I think for the base, I will use the glitter short shadow. But there are some mattes in there as well, which is nice. Uh, I think I paid about like what, 200, 300 baht for this. I'm really not sure on the exact prices. So all of this is just a guesstimate. This is in number 3, Sparkling Syrup. I'm gonna go in with this shade over here. It's a matte with shimmers in there. Back in 2018, I actually bought quite a bit of uh, makeup from Eve and Boy before and I'll be honest I spent like 400 Singapore dollars there then when I came back right I didn't really use much of it because I felt that quite a number of the items there the quality wasn't really that great so this time around I didn't really buy as much as a compare, I think I only spent about 3,000 baht so that's about 100 for each 120 Singapore dollars. There's a bit of there's there's a bit of kick up in the pan, but overall still okay. I mean it's a very subtle color. Alright, our transition shade is laid down. Um, it's really very very subtle actually. I'm gonna try and build it a little bit. Alright, and then I think I'm gonna go into this deep dark brown shade over here to add some definition. Watching this right now, this feels rather mm, light. Yeah, this is super light. The pigmentation for this is honestly barely there. Yeah, this is super light. Maybe this really works well for the shimmers. Let me swatch. Somewhat promising, but it kind of reminds me quite a bit of the shimmers that I got back in 2018 as well. Looks a little bit flaky, especially for this one. The rest, I mean, they are very, very pretty, but a little bit more on the flakier side of things. I think I'm going with this darker shade on the outer part of my lids. The darker shimmer, so I'm just gonna pop it here and here. Barely um, blend it, almost keeping it very tight in that spot first. It lays down rather nicely for sure, I don't mind this. But there's not a lot of base pigment to it. For the middle like lid shade of itself, I'm gonna go in for the Dust of Snow by 4 u 2 I think I really like this rose gold over here. Let me just... Ooh, this feels much more softer, almost like a cream texture almost. Let me just swatch it here. Oh wow! Ooh! This is beautiful. Ooh. Ooh, so this is more of like a metallic eyeshadow for sure. This one has definitely more a bit more base pigment to it. So it's almost like a metallic uh, shine to it, but not as glittery as compared to the glitter shot uh, shadow from uh, Melinda. I think for the eye and cheek one, I think I unfortunately have to not apply this to my face, but for the, maybe I want to highlight the center part of my lid, so I'm gonna go in with the white here, a little bit more daring. Ooh, look at that effect, you can see, ooh, looks wet, wow. I'm gonna pop it in the center, right over here, oh wow. This palette, you can get it. It's definitely a topper palette, but I think the shimmers in here are beautiful, wow. I have got this eyeliner from me, Brightly Sharp Eyeliner, and it's in brown as you can see. I'm not sure if I'm feeling a eyeliner look today though but we can swatch it. So this is how it looks like brightly brown. I only paid like 189 baht for this. It's, it's crazy how affordable some of these products are. It's a brush tip liner. And just swatch it. Ooh! This feels juicy. <gasps> this feels really juicy. Okay, we're gonna go in. <laughs> oh wow! That was so effortless! Okay Crystal, don't get too excited. I, I, I just realized how I just messed up my eyeliner for this side. Um, okay, I cleaned it up a little bit. It's not perfect, but we're in a rush. But this! Highly, highly recommend. Wow, I mean, I don't know how it will wear. We'll see how it goes. I will update you. For mascara, I got one from Kathy Doll over here. It seems like Kathy Doll is a very popular uh, brand at the moment because it is advertised almost everywhere. Their packaging is really, really good. And a lot of the lip stuff as well. 
also from Kathy Doll. Quite a number of my products are from Kathy Doll. My friend told me that apparently the actors here are BL actors. I'm just like, okay, that means they really got the product endorsements to come in and really pop off, I guess. Let me curl my lashes first. I didn't mention the name of this, this is the Less Is More Mascara. Lightweight mascara won't weigh your lashes down. Nylon fiber technology give perfect curling coat. More volumized, longer, curled without clumping, sweat proof, no more raccoon, raccoon? raccoon eyes <laughs> during the day. Okay, this definitely curled my lashes quite a bit and it really nicely separated everything. Okay. Thai makeup. Wow, you guys pop off. <laughs> Alright, so next we're gonna do skin. I think I have two concealers. One is from a brand called Six Story, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so Six Story Skin Censored Concealer over here. I'm in the shade 15 Vanilla. This is what I picked up because in the, the lighting in Eve and Boy is really not the best. It has a lot of neon blue lighting and it kind of throws everything off and I was in a rush. Uh, that day, so I didn't really get a good chance to really see what was I actually getting myself. This might be a little bit too light for me, let's see. Comes with a nice doe foot applicator. We'll dot over here. Ooh. <laughs> it's a little, bit, a little bit light. Maybe it will oxidize, I don't know. Oh, but it blends out really nicely though. I hope this is workable. I got another concealer. This is the Cover Me Matte Concealer in number one ivory. It seems like in that lighting, everything looked alright in blue neon lighting, like the lighter shade. I tried to look for the tones, uh, but I might be wrong. I love the packaging of this. Oh, this looks so good. Alright, and this is number one ivory. It's another doe foot applicator. It's not the double sided one, but let me see. Oh, I think this might be a better match for me. There's a little bit more. A uh, yellow undertone to it, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, this is much more of a better shade match for me. I think I'll go with the Kathy Doll one and Spot Conceal first. Ooh, a little bit really does go a long way for this. Wow, this shade is really good for my skin. It really cover up my redness by quite a bit. Okay, not a lot, but I think the coverage is actually not too too bad. I'm gonna play shade a little bit. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty uh, eye brightener to just color correct the darkness under my eyes. got two foundations. One is from Sri Chan and one from Kathy Doll. These two over here, the Kathy Doll and the Cover Me Matte is the same uh, shade as the concealer over here. Apparently this has SPF 15 PA Triple Plus all day long matte finish with comfort lightweight feel. I don't know who is this guy but whoever, y'all are fans of him. There you go. <laughs> so it comes with a pump. Both foundations comes with a pump. Let's see. Oh, this is a bad place to swatch, my gosh. Okay, this colour is not too bad. A little bit light. Yeah, it's a little bit light. <laughs> See, how about Sri Chan 110 uh, Sand? This is also the uh, lighter shade for Sri Chan if I am not wrong. So the Sri Chan one is a little bit uh, darker. It also has this yellow tone, so you can see how different it is. Wow, this is like, I think I'll look like a ghost. I want to avoid that. <laughs> this is too light, the Cover Me Matte one, but I think I'll just go in with the Shree Chan one. This Shree Chan one has a very like almost a little bit of like a clay kind of texture, almost a little bit. A little bit hard to maneuver. And I heard Shree Chan is one of the more popular and OG beauty brands in Thailand itself. I did pick up their uh, powder actually. Okay, I think this is not too bad. A little bit of bronzer would help actually. Despite the fact that this has more of a clear texture for foundation, I really like the foundation of this. This definitely feels very lightweight on my face. I mean, for first impression wise. Not bad. Alright, so this is how the skin is looking like. I have this Sri Chan powder. It's a translucent powder. Oh, I just realized they have a halal sign over here. So, I mean, hey, if you're a Muslim and you need to wear halal makeup, I think this is great. Oh, wow, look at that packaging. And it's purple too. My favorite color. 
purple velvet puff. This is the first time I'm seeing this. You got a sifter as well, but I already see some powder that has already leaked through, so. Wow. Oh, it feels velvety smooth on my skin. Like, my skin looks a little bit more mattified, but it definitely still retains that uh, glow to it. I just realized I didn't pick up a highlighter for this trip, but it's okay. I have tons of highlighter, but hey man, just one beauty product that we're missing. 200 to 300 baht for this, maybe cheaper. It depends also. Different stores offer different promotions at different price points. I highly suggest you to not blow your money on the first day if you're in Bangkok. Just ration your money and maybe check out different uh, pharmacies or even more outlets throughout your trip. So maybe your second or third day. But if you're staying for like three days, then of course. Buy. I also have this Nari powder, it's a pressed powder if I'm not wrong uh, But I'm rushing for time right now, so I'll just put little uh, V-roll clips for you to see how it looks like Aside from the two blushes here, I have three more because I didn't know that was an eye and cheek thing uh, So it's Mahmood palette blusher from Berry Baby Bright Kathy doll one with uh, whoever this is, please screenshot if you want to My Sneaky Blush as well, number 14 from Mong Mong Rang Yes, we're gonna go in with the Baby Bright Tender And yeah Oh, this looks really pigmented Wow, okay Um, I'll be careful And I'll add it somewhere around here To give more of that sweet girl look, I guess This is nice oh, Wow, and it's not patchy because In the past, I used to own um, Thai blushes as well and it ended up looking very patchy and it will ball up but this one applies very evenly for lips i actually bought a few i have bought a couple of maybelline vinyl lipsticks that are not available here in singapore i did post swatches on my instagram story i'm actually doing a giveaway on ig for skincare so if you want free skincare go and check out that post i'll put it down in the comments below i think it's easier for you okay and i bought this uh lip stuff as well from kathy doll again a lot of kathy doll stuff i'm not sponsored by them i wish and also there's this sis to sis lip eye cheek uh packet thing i'm not really sure how it works so something like this and also a hyaluronic lip moist uh in cuz baby <laughs> I think this is their take on what is supposed to be like the blasting water tint almost uh, But for today, I think I want to go into number 3 pink scene over here Wanna Shine Lipstick What do you guys think? Do you think this looks okay? I think I would prefer another lip colour I think I'll just go ahead into the Hyaluronic Lip Moist instead Oh, I'm covering his face Sorry, sorry Sorry whoever wants a screenshot <laughs> Oh, the doe foot is quite interesting. It's C cup looking ones. I feel tingling on my lips. Yeah, I feel tingling on my lip. It's like we eat mint. Yeah. Okay. Okay, interesting, interesting. Alright, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I actually really like this. Also, outfit. Let me zoom you out a little bit. I can't pull the cable too far, but this is the look. I I love the dress, the dress is so sweet, so friendly, so feminine Ready for some like tea party or something Let me know what is your favourite product so far that you have seen What you think is pretty, which one you think you got eye on Let me know and I hope this video was helpful for you guys If you enjoyed the video, do help me out Please leave a like, subscribe down below Also to ring the bell, the bell keeps you notified on when I upload I usually upload on Fridays so you can keep a lookout for that as well And I will see you guys in my next video Stay safe, bye bye